Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to implement a Helidon microprofile service with NetBeans. And Helidon is interesting because it comes with a Helidon command line utility, which is um, looks like a binary utility written command line utility written in uh, Go, but it's actually written in Java and translated with Graal VM to a to a to ex executable. So I downloaded the um, utility there's actually nothing to install and let's use it so i would like to start a project with the name uh let's see um this is going to be a project a micro profile project and now uh it's going to be a bare metal so bare means uh, nothing inside except a jack source resource and then the project name exactly is park this is just my defaults you can store the defaults in a config and i would like to start the um development loop and uh, now it started so it started and it comes already with the entire micro profile and partial jakarta, jakarta e support so it looks like um, glassfish let's say but it's uh, um, a, a different uh, different runtime now now we have it and uh, so let's start netbeans and uh, hopefully netbeans will immediately recognize helidon because uh, helidon comes with um a Maven POM. So let's start uh, NetBeans, and uh, it opens in my presentation folder. So just reload the folder, and hopefully it will recognize the project. And it worked. So now um, Helidon should run on this port, local 8080 and greet. So let's see. Yes, it is already running. And uh, what we have here, we have some Java code, which I'm not very happy with because it's a little bit too complicated. So we probably, let's let's get rid of the constructor here. So uh, what we can do, we can just remove this or remove, move the annotation to the field, remove the private final, add some add inject. So make this project a little bit more Jakartaistic. So, and now remove the constructor. Also, this is not really necessary. So I will just, so what we can do, we can replace this with that. And it is a little bit leaner. And so that's all we need, a JAXRS endpoint. Now, what? Um, let's see whether it works. And for this purpose, I will just change the mes message into Hello, Helidon. So, and see whether it works. So, reload that, and we have Hello, Helidon world. Okay, seems to work. And uh, how well it works is if I even, it can even change the port and try it again. And we get the error because uh, it is hot reload. So, now it should work again. So, we have Hello, Helidon. So, Helidon comes with full CDI support. So, I can actually switch to all here. I just wonder why it doesn't ship with the old settings because now what I can do, I can create, for instance, a greeter and this greeter has a method, uh, has a method, has a method which returns a message and this message is uh, just return, let's say Duke or uh, MP, and then we can immediately, or we should be able to immediately use inject the uh, greeter, greeter, and then add here, for instance, another slot in the JSON object, and call that flavor. Let's say flavor four, and add this greeter with a message okay let's see whether it works and it seems to work so and because it is a micro profile project we can actually rely on the existence of let's say here metrics and there are no application metrics so this should be not available or empty exactly it's not available yet uh, or this was a typo application, but still empty. Okay, now, and we have the uh, the generic metrics are available here. So um, thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, um, Ahex Live virtual workshops, 
and enjoy MicroProfile with NetBeans, of course, and on Helidon. Uh, thank you and bye.